Now, we have some division questions. But for these questions, we're going to get remainders. That's because 11 isn't in the 4 times table, 18 isn't in the 5 times table, and 15 isn't in the 2 times table. So let's start with 11 divided by 4. We have 11 blocks here, and one way to divide by 4 is to make groups of 4. So here we have one group of 4. Now we can make a second group of 4, but then we have these three blocks that are left over. We can't make a group of 4. So that's why our answer is 2 remainder 3. We've made two groups of 4, but then there are three blocks that we can't share out, and this 3 here is our remainder. Now we have 18 divided by 5, so let's make groups of 5 from these 18 blocks. We can make 1, 2, 3 groups of 5, but we can't make another group of 5 because we only have 3 blocks. So we've made 3 groups of 5, but then we have 3 blocks that we can't share out, so our answer is 3 remainder 3. Now we have 15 divided by 2, so we can arrange our blocks into groups of 2. We can make 7 groups of 2, but then we have one leftover block that we can't share out. So because we've made 7 groups of 2 with one left over, our answer is 7 remainder 1. Now notice there's a pattern here. 4 times 2 is 8 plus 3 is 11, 5 times 3 is 15, and then 15 plus 3 is 18, and 2 times 7 is 14, and then from 14 we need one more, we need to add 1 to get to 15. Also, another rule is that the remainder has to be less than the divisor, so if we're dividing by 4, our remainder can only be 1, 2, or 3, because if we had a remainder of 4, we'd be able to make another group. So if we're dividing by 5, our remainder can only be 1, 2, 3, or 4. And if we're dividing by 2 and we get a remainder, the remainder can only be 1. Otherwise, we'd be able to make another group. And without using blocks, the way to solve these is to think about your times tables. So, in the 4 times table, we need to find the closest number to 11, which is still less than 11. The closest number that's less than 11 is 8, and because 2 times 4 is 8, we know that 2 must be the number before the remainder. But then, 2 times 4 is 8, and we need to think how many more from 8 do we need to get to 11. From 2 times 4 is 8, we need 3 more to get to 11, and that's why our remainder is 3. For 18 divided by 5, we need to think of a number in the 5 times table which is close to 18, but not more than 18. The closest number in the 5 times table is 15, and because 3 times 5 is 15, we know that 3 must be the number before the remainder. But 3 times 5 is 15, and then, to find the remainder, we need to count on from 15 to get to 18. 15 plus 3 is 18, so that's why our remainder is 3. And for 15 divided by 2, we need to think of a number in the 2 times table, which is as close to 15 as possible, but not more than 15. The closest number to 15 in the 2 times table is 14. And 7 times 2 is 14, so we have 7 before the remainder. But 7 times 2 is only 14, and we need one more to get to 15, so that's why our remainder is 1. We can also show remainders on a number line. So, because we're dividing by 4, we can count up in 4s, 4, then 8, and then the next multiple of 4 is 12. But that's too many, because we were only dividing 11. So we need to stop at 2 jumps of 4, and then from 8, we need another 3, 
not another three jumps of four, but just another three to get to 11. And that's why our answer is two remainder three, because we can make two jumps of four, but then we need three more to get to our dividend. Now, for 18 divided by five, we can show jumps of five. So we have five, 10, 15, but then if we jumped another five, that would be 20, but 20 is too many. So we need to stop at three jumps of five, and then to get to 18 from 15, we need three more. We need to add three. So here, because we made three jumps of five, and then needed to add three, our answer is three remainder three. Now, for 15 divided by two, we can jump in twos. So we have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. Now we can't jump to 16 because we can't go past the dividend. We can't go past the number we're dividing by. So we need to stop at seven jumps of two, but then from 14, we need to add one to get to 15. So because we made seven jumps of two and then needed one more, our answer is seven remainder one. We can also show remainders using a sharing model of division. So remember, division can be two different things. It can be making groups like we've done here, but it can also be sharing. So for 11 divided by four, we can share out 11 counters between four groups. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. But remember, with division, we need our groups to be equal. So these three counters can't be shared out. That means that we have two counters in each group and then three that can't be shared out. So that's why our answer is two remainder three. Now we can share out 18 counters into five groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Again, we have the problem that we need equal groups when we're sharing. So these three counters can't be shared out. We have three counters in each group and three remaining. So we have three remainder three. Now let's share out 15 counters between two groups. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. But this counter here can't be shared out because we need to make sure that we have groups of the same size. So now we have seven counters in each group and one remainder. So we have seven remainder one. 